Okay, so let's look on a positioning. For example, we'll go with filters. Let me just enable a couple things we've done before. Okay, we'll go to cast shadows. Okay, so right here we have our image applied and uh, positioning. Many times you will use it for the background and foreground when you need to adjust. Um, with some exception, position won't work if you're going inside the canvas and you enable um, to some aspect ratio specific lock. So let's go back. And as a position tool, right now we select foreground. You notice we have it a different type of icon. So if I click anywhere, I can just drag in the position. Okay. I'll notice when I position, I'm dragging all of this layer. So it's meaning all of the filters or masks that was applying to this, I'm dragging around. So notice right here. So we have it shadows. And if I move there, you see the shadows moving as well. So this is kind of very nice. So next we have it also this kind of gizmo tool. The one if you're over, it tell you that is resizing. So going down will increase, go up, will make it smaller. So we can resize it. Okay, next is a rotating tool. By clicking on this, you can rotate the image. So we can adjust it. All this is gizmo manipulation by hand, or you can also go inside and just use your keypad to type in or readjust by the dragging icon. Okay. So the position horizontal vertical, you can see we can adjust same way as we drag and drop. Okay, with same things, we can readjust scale from here instead use it gizmo. And also we have the flip horizontally image or flip vertically. So we have a full adjustment on this one. Same when we work with a background, you'll notice on a background we can rescale, make bigger or smaller as we need it. We can have an adjustment position horizontal, vertically, same as we did before. You can do also manually by dragging around. We also can rotate our image okay, by the angles or directly and type in. So very similar as well you can flip horizontally if you need your background and vertically as well anytime when you want to just reset if you click on reset it will bring to original position so right here you can see our background is smaller so it's reset our scale to 100 percent and set other properties